Welcome to UKSG 2024 in Glasgow. This is the guide to the conference app. Welcome to the UKSG 2024 conference app. This guide is to assist you in navigating your way through the conference app. We're using the same supplier for the app as last year, Hoover, the award-winning provider of event apps. We hope you find the app useful and intuitive and would, as always, welcome any comments you may have in order that we can continue to enhance your conference experience. Above all, have a great conference. Hello, my name is Brian Lewis and I am Digital Communications Associate at UKSG. At the conference, you will find me in a bright blue vest with Here to Help written on the back. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me as below. How to get the app. Once the app is published, about two to three weeks before the conference, you will receive an email giving you information about how to download and log into the app. In order to prepare this guide well in advance, I have used the example screens from last year's conference. But don't worry, the layout will be the same for 2024. If you're having problems or require assistance, please contact me at one of these addresses. Setting up your account, slide one. If you do not already have an account from last year, you will need to set up your account as follows. Load the Hoover app on your phone or tablet and this screen will appear. Click on sign up, sign in here. Type your registered email in here and press continue. Setting up your account, slide two. The next screen allows you to add a little more information about yourself. Then press My Profile Looks Good. Your information screen then appears. The next screen will ask you if you want to be viewable by other delegates. We strongly recommend you answer yes. You can now search for UKSG Annual Conference and Exhibition 2024. This will load the UKSG 2024 app. Right, getting started with the app. The following slides will give you a flavour of what to expect in the app. OK, let's have a look at the information the app holds about you. At the top of the home page of the app, you will see an icon just here. Click on this icon to access your information. Now let's look at your information that's in the app. Here you can update your contact information. You can add contacts and notes. You can also change your settings. That will be explained on the next slide. Your settings. Notification settings are explained in more detail on the next slide. You can link to your social media. Other, the other attendees can see me option has been initially set off. When you first log into the app, you will be asked if you wish to be viewed. We recommend you do this. You can turn this off and on at your convenience. Your notifications. Having clicked on notification settings, you will see this screen. Clicking on notifications will allow you to configure which notifications you can receive. We recommend you set those that are set on here. This is the home page of the app you will see when first loaded. So let's explore what we have. 
The Platinum Sponsors and Gala Event Sponsors are at the top, with all the sponsors scrolling at the bottom. Along the bottom of the home page, we have the Home button, which will take you back to the disk screen from anywhere in the app. To the right of that, we have the Agenda. Right, let's look at the Agenda. When you click on Agenda, this screen will appear. Click on the item to reveal details of the session. Click here to add your personal agenda. Now you can view your personal agenda. Attendees. The next button along on the home page is the link to attendees. Clicking this will give you the ability to search for attendees who have set themselves visible. By clicking on an attendee, you can see their information and contact them if desired. Looking at the community. The next button along is the link to the community. You can now stay connected with other attendees. Please check this out to make the most of your conference. Messages. The last link on the right at the bottom of the home page will give you access to your messages sent by other participants or the organizers. This will give you the opportunity to send messages to individuals. OK, let's look at additional resources. First of all, photos. <clears throat> photos allows you to share photos with your fellow delegates. Just click on here to take a photo and upload a photo or video. In additional resources, now let's look at the floor map. Click on floor map to give you details of the stands in the exhibition. Here you can view the map and search for exhibitors and display their location. Exhibitors first slide. Click on exhibitors. You're presented with this screen. You can then enter search to find a specific exhibitor. Exhibitors, second slide. Enter your search criteria. Your required exhibitor will be displayed with all their details. Session Q&A. Click on Session Q&A. This screen will allow you to ask questions by clicking on the session. Please note this will only be used for plenary sessions. Logistics. Click on logistics and you're presented with general information which you should find useful. The headings should be self-explanatory. Looking at sponsors, click on sponsors and you're presented with a list of sponsors. You can search for a sponsor and click explore, explore sponsor to see their details. The sponsor's details then appear. Speakers, click on the speakers button. You're presented with a list of the speakers where you can search for a speaker and click profile to see their details. These are the details. Additional resources, X, formerly known as Twitter. Click on X, formerly known as Twitter. This will log you into your X account via the app. The Hoover Guide. Click on Hoover Guide. Here you will find a wealth of information and advice about the app from the supplier. The 
the passport game from the attendees perspective. The conference app has a feature known as the passport game, which gives you a chance of winning 100 pounds worth of Amazon vouchers. To enter, you will need to do the following. Go to a stand and ask a representative to scan your QR code. You can find the QR code by pressing passport on the home screen. Present the QR code to the exhibitor who will scan the code. This code is also available in your personal details in the app. This will give you a stamp for the competition and allow the collection of your contact details by the exhibitor. The person with the most stamps wins the Amazon voucher. In the event of a draw, a winner will be selected at random. Passport game from the exhibitor's perspective. The conference app has an exciting feature that should drive traffic to your stand. This feature is known as the passport game. The way the game works is as follows. Delegates to the conference will approach a member of your staff on the stand and ask them to scan in their QR code. See the above slide. This will register the fact that that they have visited your stand and give them a stamp against their record in the app. The person with the most stamps will win a £100 Amazon voucher. This will also transfer their contact details to your exhibitor record and give you a chance to engage them in conversation. There is a link to the guide to help exhibitors set up and run the password game available on the UKSG conference site. You will also be notified of this in a link. Polling in sessions. If you are attending a breakout session or workshop session, the speaker may have created a poll associated with that session. When the speaker is ready, they will ask you to complete the poll. To find the poll for completion, Use the app to locate the session from the general agenda on the app homepage or my agenda if you have created one. You will see a screen similar to this. To access the poll, click on the poll entry on the top right hand here. You will then present it with the polls. There are four types of polls which are explained on the next slides. Poll type multiple choice checkbox. Click on the arrow to display the poll and select your single choice and then click submit. Poll type checkbox multiple choice. Click on the arrow to display the poll and select your choice or choices and then click Submit. Poll type short answer. The poll will appear. You can type your answer and then click Submit. Poll type star rating. Click on the arrow to display the poll and drag your cursor to the appropriate position. Then click Submit. Additional help. Hoover, our app supplier, has produced a number of online guides as follows. The Hoover Attendee Guide is here. How to Guide for Attendees is here. And the collection of guides by Hoover customers is here. Please feel free to access them. We hope you'll find them useful. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please contact me at these addresses.